Welcome to the 30 day better balance for ataxia and instability challenge. Welcome to day 21. It is not easy getting here. It is so easy to quit along the way, to quit on day seven, eight, nine, 12, 15, and you're day 21 and you're still here. Be so, so, so proud of yourself today. All right, optional equipment would be those weights and or a sticky note that has a letter like an X or an A, a dot or a word like open. All right, while I get us started, go ahead and give me an elbow dig. Dig those elbows back and down, squeeze the shoulder blades. However, tighten the core. All right, so we're not doing this. Tighten your core muscles, so important. All right, we're gonna jump into quadruped because this is also essential for our stability. So good for us, okay? So we're gonna lift our opposite limb. So when you lift your right arm, you will extend your left leg at the same time. Tighten your core the same time, switching. Now level one is to do this in a seated position, leaning back on a chair. Level two is unsupported sitting. So you're sitting and not leaning back. Level three is at that wall, okay? At the same time, extending, tightening the core. Level four, you know this is kind of being on a chair, a, a desk, a, um, a bed or something like that. Level five is on the ground with me. No matter what level you're at, even sitting supported is amazing. Be so proud of yourself. We're gonna jump in and do one minute. All right, tighten those core muscles, okay? One minute. Now we're gonna jump into some modified Tai Chi, but while I explain, give me that chin tuck, tuck that chin back and down. Give yourself that double chin to line everything back from that forward head posture. All right, hold that. We're gonna do some kind of like modified punching. We'll breathe in first, and as you breathe out, I'm gonna do this fast, okay? You're gonna punch and rotate. And then you'll breathe in and as you breathe out, you're gonna flip and punch and rotate. Look at the way I'm flipping, okay, and rotating. Now level one is to do this supported and sitting, that's amazing. Two is unsupported sitting. Three is gonna hold on with one hand and standing, that's awesome. Four is gonna stand and let go with both hands. Five, you can go ahead into a tall kneeling or five plus I should say is kind of a half kneeling at 45 seconds I'll give you a little wink wink or let you know so that way if you're holding on with one hand or you're in tall kneeling you'll switch sides all right no matter what you're amazing now that was one minute focus on you not on me all right here we go
you are holding on with one hand, switch sides. If you're in tall kneeling, switch sides. Amazing job. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into the quadruped or modified quadruped or sitting, lifting those opposite limbs for one more minute. Fantastic job. All right, I'm gonna have everyone do a robber. That way, if you're on the floor, it gives you time to get up and reset or wherever you're at. Okay, so take those hands, bring them back and down, I surrender. Remember, this is also a core exercise. Tighten those core muscles, okay? Activate them. All right, we're gonna do a balance exercise that also works on our glutes and our legs, and it's so good for us leg circles oh, okay so we're circling our leg we'll do 30 seconds in each direction now do this in sitting supported do this unsupported in sitting level three is to hold on that's awesome level four is to let go Ooh. level five is eyes closed wow each one of those is fantastic now, if your leg's getting tired and you need to stop, maybe do three circles and rest, three circles and rest, that's amazing. I'll give you that 30 second mark to switch sides, or I should say directions. All right, hopefully that gave you enough time to get up from the floor, take a deep breath, and then let's go ahead, get situated. Whew. Let's get started here. Which directions? Whew. Tighten your core. Oh my gosh, that's difficult. Oh, wow. All right. Now let's go ahead and switch sides. So if you're holding on, you can turn around and we'll do 30 seconds again in each direction.
switch directions. Wow, you're amazing. All right, let's keep going with that balance. I'm just gonna have you rest your butt and rest your legs while I explain. Ooh, cause that was a tough one. All right, we're gonna do eyes closed. You know your levels. One, sitting supported, sitting unsupported, holding on, letting go, or feet together and eyes closed. Now pay attention to what is center. Really uh, hone into, are you too far to the right, the left? What is center? What is midline? When you're closing your eyes, pay attention. All right, let's go ahead one minute. Amazing job. Okay, now we're gonna get into a little bit of strength and balance. While I explain this, go ahead and give me an elbow dig again. So take those elbows, dig them back and down, tighten your core muscles, okay? Tighten those core muscles, so good for us. Okay, we're gonna do a combination. It's gonna be a lunge first, a side lunge, then a combination curl and head turn at the same time with or without weights, that's up to you. So, let me demonstrate here. It'll be a side lunge, so a step and a lunge, come back to center, then curl and turn your head away from that arm. We'll break it down. Do this in sitting, and if you are for level one or two, just step your leg out and back. Level three is to hold on, four is to let go, five, give yourself a deeper lunge, okay and then close your eyes with your head turn all right find the right challenge for you that was a 50 second elbow dig break it down all right you can do this amazing job all right that's a minute I didn't tell you that but we're gonna do a minute on the other side now break it down oh, you've got this okay all right side lunge and then curl and a head turn
amazing jab. All right, let's keep going. Um, our next uh, move is gonna be a forward lunge, shoulder abduction with a vertical head turn. I'm just gonna let you rest your body while you watch this. But what we're gonna do here is because it's abduction, you might want a lighter weight or no weight, that's up to you. Okay, so just like that last exercise, we're gonna break it down. First is a forward lunge or a step is great, okay? Then it's gonna be abduction halfway. So bringing that arm halfway up while at the same time you do a vertical head turn like this. Both of them go slow. It's not this, <laughs> okay? Forward lunge, um, abduction, head turn. Break it down, okay? Um, if you're doing this in sitting, that's amazing. Just go ahead and give a march, okay? In standing, hold on, let go. Level five would be to do it with your eyes closed. Oh. Be careful, put your safety first, okay? We'll do one minute on each side. Amazing job, let's switch sides. You can see who wants to be the center of attention here. Okay, lunge or march, okay? And then uh, abduction with a vertical head turn, go slow. Jab. All right, we're gonna jump into some Tai Chi here. Um, I'm gonna have you do butt squeezes about three to five seconds and rest. That gives individuals the opportunity to catch up, put their weights down, or if you're set up, it keeps you busy. Okay, um, our Tai Chi one here is called Bouncing the Ball. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna shift your weight onto one leg, and that's the leg that you're gonna almost pre pretend like you're bouncing a ball, but you're gonna lift the opposite leg. Whew. Bounce, go slow. This is fast, okay, just to show you the move. Now, you can do this sitting supported, unsupported. Level three is holding on. And if you do that, that's amazing. Just shift your weight back and forth. You don't even have to lift the opposite leg. That's an upgrade. Level four is to do this, maybe um, letting go and then even lifting the leg. And level five would be to do this, lifting the leg with the eyes closed, okay? Now, no matter what, go slow. Focus on you, focus on your weight shift, focus on feeling the bottom of your feet, your center of gravity. Don't pay attention to me, all right? 
that was one minute to get set up or do butt squeezes. All right, I'll let you know when that 30 second passes because then you can switch sides if you're standing and holding up. switch sides. Amazing job. All right, you're awesome. Give me a robber here. Arms are up and back. I'm squeezing those shoulder blades, but more important, not more importantly, but just as importantly, is tighten your core muscles also. Tight, good posture. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go to that VOR and VOR cancellation at vestibulo-ocular reflex. Uh, where we have to practice stabilizing our gaze on something in the room or your sticky note, either you're holding it or you're putting it on a wall. Because what we're doing is we're keeping our eyes fixed and we're turning our head side to side. You wanna go fast, but obviously um, not too fast that you make yourself sick or nauseous. Um, it should be a little bit uncomfortable, but not too uncomfortable, okay. Then um, we'll go ahead and do 30 seconds up and down, okay? So uh, that was a 40 second robber. This is so good for our dynamic visual acuity and our balance, okay? All right, so 30 seconds, head turns side to side. Right, 30 seconds up and down. you in the research articles they did do it a little bit longer about two minute reps but hey we're doing it okay great job now we're gonna jump into VOR cancellation this is the ability of the eyes to follow a moving target with the head this is often um, impaired with anybody with uh, cerebellar pathologies but we absolutely need to be able to have that visual tracking with the head or we're gonna get super dizzy right um, we can't be looking at the he um, head and then the eyes are late. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one for one minute. Um, hang in there with me. Go slow if you need to.
great job. If you struggle a lot with dizziness, those are three exercises that are so good. Really training the ability of the eyes to stabilize while the head is turning, uh, horizontal or vertical, and then cancellation to suppress that VOR. Um, at the same time, we need to be able to look at our head turn and scan at the same time. So I want to highly recommend practicing. Okay, so now we're gonna end today with that good morning stretch, which means our hands are together. We're gonna breathe in and out. Um, really focus on grounding yourself. In other words, focus on your body, your feet, the weight shift, what you feel, your breathing, because you're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Go slow. Take this time to relax. Take your cortisol levels, your stress levels, and reduce them. When our stress levels are high, it's gonna exacerbate any balance, any tremors, it's gonna make it worse. So research shows even just meditation or deep breathing can calm tremors and uh, balance impairment. So long story short, end today by focusing on relaxation. You can do this in sitting, supported, unsupported. You can hold on, you can let go, or you can do this with your eyes closed. holding on, switch sides. job today. Oh, be so proud of yourself. Congratulations, you did it. Day 21. That is huge because there are so many things that are trying to keep you away from this challenge. Yet you are here, you showed up and you finished. Be so, be so proud of yourself for your strength the determination that it took to show up and finish and then come back. I know that you can do this with me. Little steps together, we can make some big gains.